Welcome back to Living 808. This weekend, the Hawaii Symphony will be presenting the world premiere of a unique piece called Kumulipo Reflections. Here to tell us all about it and its importance to the Hawaii Symphony, Artistic Director Joanne Folletta. Hello, thank you Hello. so much for joining us. I'm delighted to be here and to talk about this extraordinary event with our symphony. Um, Kumulipo Reflections is a piece that's an homage to the coral reefs and our connection to the water, to the oceans around us. So what better place to celebrate this, this wonderful beginning of life where all of us came from the ocean with this extraordinary piece written for us by Anders Paulsen. Uh, Tell me more about that because um, it is fairly unusual, right, that we are here in Hawaii get to, to do the world premiere of this piece? Well, it was inspired by Hawaii. So uh, Anders spent a lot of time here learning about the culture, the history of Hawaii, studying with Aaron, uh, and uh, created this wonderful piece, which is a beautiful, uh, respectful reflection of where life began, with visuals and with the creation chant, which will be chanted by Aaron Mahi. Yes, that's coming up a little bit later. So then it is very fitting then that the premiere takes place here Absolutely. In and uh, it's going to be a very beautiful event and something quite quite unique to Hawaii too. Absolutely. So that concert is this weekend. That's right. Right? Uh, you give us the days and Saturday, Sunday? It's Saturday, Sunday, April 1 and 2, Saturday at 8 and uh, Sunday at 4. Okay. Uh, and uh, we're really looking forward to this. So it's a water program, so also on the program is a piece by Zemlensi called The Little Mermaid, wow. which is the Hans Christian Andersen story. So Terrific. Now that event, uh, or that concert is this weekend, but you that's have right. another concert coming up the weekend after. We do. And that sounds really interesting to it's me. It's really fun. It's video games live. So everyone will know the music <laughs> and it's it's the the ultimate tribute to the music written for video games and it's been seen and listened to by millions of people so it's it's a chance to hear it now for the first time in Honolulu so that's uh, April 7th and 8th the next one, the weekend after this. Okay, so what sounds so intriguing to me too is that particular performance, um, there's a lot of technologies involved, yes. right? It, it, it's kind of outside the box. Maybe people may not expect to have a concert like that for the Hawaii Symphony. Well, Hawaii Symphony's been doing that. We've been doing all kinds of different things. I mean, movies and and uh, um, acrobatic, uh, uh, acrobats accompanied by orchestra and of course classical pieces too. So um, there's a lot going on at the Hawaii Symphony. So this is one example of us reaching out to a new audience which we've been doing very successfully yes in fact I want to hear more about that because there's a lot going on at the Hawaii Symphony so not this not just these two upcoming concerts but um, tell us what else is going on right now well we have so many things in store for the for the rest of the season a lot of classical concerts great pops concerts we're planning now our next season which people will see I would say in a few weeks they'll see all of the great things we have in store, but it ranges from movies like Harry Potter to uh, uh, great orchestral pieces, uh, Verdi Requiem, lots of wonderful things going on. I mean, this is a, an orchestra that is everybody's orchestra, and it's thrilling to see young people uh, come to concerts, and people who have never been inside to, to hear a symphony concert before, yeah. they're coming to hear the Hawaii Symphony. I like that because for people who have never been to a concert like this, I mean, we really want to encourage new people to come or, or even people who um, have has been to the concert, right. but to see it again because you guys are always doing new yeah. things. Well, I mean, this weekend is very special. I mean, as as people who live in Hawaii, you can't miss this this very special tribute with visuals of the coral reefs and the creation chant with Aaron. This new mm -hmm. piece written for us by Andres Paulson is it's a great honor to play this. It sounds beautiful. Erin um, is joining us right now, so tell us about what we're about to see. Well, this is the ancient creation chant, and, and maybe Erin should, should just speak about exactly well, what sure. it is. Sure, if you can tell us real quickly, and then we'd love to see your performance. I want to do about the first 16 lines of 121 lines, which we'll present that night, of the first va of uh, the creation story, as is uh, described in Kubulipo. And so I'll be doing just the first portion of that where we get to the core of polyp as mean that first form of life that the Hawaiians have identified where all life begins. All right, so this is just a little teaser. Yeah. So to watch it in its entirety, you'll have to see the concert uh, this Saturday and Sunday. Aaron, mm -hmm. take it away. Oh, yeah, 
ka huli na la ka honua. O ke au i ka loli ntoli ka honua. E ke au a ke o. O ke au i ku ka i a ka kala. E ho malama i ka malama. O ke au i ka makali i ka po. E ho ka ho wale wale i a ho homu hulua i a. O ke kubo o ka lipo i lipo ai. O ke kubo o ka po i po ai. O ka lipo lipo, o ka lipo lipo, o ka lipo ka la, o ka lipo ka po. Po wale ho i hānau ka po. Hānau kubo lipo i ka po he kāne. Hānau po ele i ka po he wahine. Hānau ka uku ko a ko a hānau kāne he a ko a ko a puka. Thank you so much. Again, the Hawaii Symphony this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the concert is called Kumulipo Reflections. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back.